On May the 8th, 1945, I was four and a half years old and travelling back from the Middle East with my missionary parents. I'd spent my first four years in Iran and knew nothing about the war in the UK or anything else, but my parents spoke of a country that had changed, that had changed perhaps not always for the better. My parents also spoke of a country of people not quite believing their newfound freedom. That freedom had been won by the sacrifice of thousands of young men and women across the world. The nation celebrated and rejoiced that once again we could live our lives in peace. I am now nearly 80 years old and I've been allowed to reach old age by that sacrifice made by so many on my behalf. I have never been able to understand war, its mindless killing and brutality. Victory in Europe, and eventually victory in Japan, along with the foundation of the United Nations, marked, or so we thought, the true beginning of harmony among the peoples of the earth. And yet every day since May the 8th, 1945, somewhere in the world, there has been armed conflict and the brutal suppression of the freedom to live and love and worship. In my eight years, I've had the freedom to study and learn, to travel where I like, given the money, and to live in a democratic society. I've had the freedom to follow whatever political view I wish, and the freedom to vote for that right. I have had the freedom to protest for nuclear disarmament, to march to Aldermaston, and to invoke the power of the press for whatever cause might take my fancy. On May the 8th, 1945, the people of this country believed that God had saved them and brought them out of the lockdown of war. On May the 8th, 2020, we are once more in lockdown, this time for an unseen and deadly enemy. The freedoms I have enjoyed for nearly 80 years have been stripped away, and that most precious of freedoms, to feel the arms of a loved one around you, has temporarily been put on hold. So celebrate the 8th of May 2020 in whatever way you will. Remember that God still loves you and me. In our lockdown, we have discovered community in entirely new ways and people are going out of their way to help others. The frontline workers are performing miracles. So let us hold before God all those who have died as a result of the coronavirus. Let us bring to God all in the front line of battle. And let us pray for the thousands working cooperatively to find a vaccine. We pray for our leaders as they prepare us for whatever lies ahead. The Holy Spirit is very much abroad in this changed world and we will, with the help of God, come through this crisis. May God bless you, each and every one, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen.